What's up guys, it's Winter Kills here and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel video. Today we got Infernoids versus Necroz. Very, very interesting matchup. I feel like Necro or Infernoids has an amazing matchup against Necroz based on their inability and uh, the lack of reliance in the extra deck and their ability to put huge monsters on board. I feel like that's one of Necroz's weaknesses. Also the Tribute Banish effect. Uh, hit those mirrors out of the grave, get those Shurits out of the grave. I feel like in the upcoming future, they'll be a great contender against Necroz. But anyways, so I'm playing Infernoids, and my brother's playing Necroz, as per usual. So he'll uh, summon Manju of the 10,000 hands and go grab himself a Necroz of Unicorn. He'll activate Cycle, tributing off a Shurit for Valk, uh, grabbing a card. Uh, Klaus off the Shurit, pitching for Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope comes down, and he'll send the Herald. And Harold will get him a search for a ritual spell or a monster. And he'll grab another Valk. I'm checking through my extra deck there. And that is not updated sleeves. My extra deck sleeves are all pink now. I'm a I'm a I'm a freak when it comes to sleeves. I have like this huge O C D problem. <laughs> if you guys do too, let me know, because I totally feel your pain. <laughs> It's one of those things. So he'll go in a chain, stack a Jew, and then he'll Valk it away to get that draw. <clears throat> Open up with the reasoning. Best reasoning, he'll call four. And a mill another reasoning in a Lila. So it's basically uh, rip this game. I'll have the Dark Hole come down and I'll summon. Now I have three Infernoids, I have an Atondal, uh, a Permaze, and a Petrulia. I didn't want to go all in with the uh, Atondal, so I put the Patrulli on board, and I swing in for 18, because uh, I didn't want to waste too many resources, just in case I were to top deck another Infernoid. Um, and then during a standby phase, I'm going to banish the Shurit out of his grave to keep him from getting any free ritual summons. Leaving myself open, but at the end of the same time, I won't get Trish, so I'm out of the way of Trish, and uh, I guess that's the best play I could have made. Also... Uh, if you guys want to see some ARG formats, uh, eh, ARG format duels or testing videos, um, I can upload those and you guys can see how this deck works, Infernoids at least, works, and Necroz I guess too, works in the ARG format. You know, no Vanities, no Trish, no Jin. Uh, so yeah, another Manju, summoning another Valk, Shuert grabbing him a Bryo. Summoning a lot of Valks this game. That was me bringing a chair over in the background. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, but now he's got two Valks on board. He'll swing in with all of them. And I believe that will put me down to 800. Yes, 800. Down to his 62. So he's left there with two Valks. I got a Raigeki in hand. That'll come down. Won't get me anywhere. I'll set the Cyclone. And he'll space it. Not that I really needed it. Just kind of set it there as a bluff, just in case, you know, he thought it might have been like a mirror force or a torrential or whatever. But either way, it didn't matter, like I said, because he had the MST. I have this one Atondo in my hand, and I just can't do anything. So I'm waiting to see if he can summon something. And uh, I definitely think he can. He pitches the Bryo, I'm pretty sure, for Klaus for a Kaleidoscope. So now he's got mirror and scope in his hand. I don't know, is that in Shurit? Yeah, but that's going to be game either way, because he still can summon another monster, and that's all that really matters. But thank you guys so much for watching. Winter Kill signing out, and I'll see you at game two. Necroz taking the 1-0 lead.